Hello and welcome to this review of the Xiaomi plant sensor with Home Assistant installation at the end of the video. For the plant sensor to work you will need a working Home Assistant setup with Bluetooth and a Xiaomi Mi account. This is a plant, a Spartipilum that I've bought together with the black plant pot for 10 euros. Now, I don't have green fingers, but research has been proven that having plants can increase the air quality and have effect on your mood. So I thought I'd give it a shot after seeing the Xiaomi Smart Plant Sensor. The Flower Care Smart Plant Sensor costs around 20 euros and measures several factors of the plant. It has a coin cell battery included which should last some time and uses Bluetooth to communicate. I'm excited to see this in use, so let's unpack it. It comes with plastic casing that can be reused. It is worthy to note that there is a larger version available for bigger plants. The sensor looks modern and has the two pins to put in the soil of your plant pot. Of course there is also a manual which is available in English. The first step is to open the sensor and activate the battery. To do this there is a small gap on the bottom of the shelving that you can use to open the sensor. Remove the transparent plastic to activate the battery. Now let's put the shelving back together and use it. The plant sensor should be put in the soil as deep as the gap between the two pins is. Make sure to put it in a place that does not obstruct the sensor, such as leaves hanging in front of it. On your smartphone, download the Flower Care app. If you can't find it in your app store, you can download the APK file if you are on Android. Ok, so the app starts in Chinese, but will later be in English. You will need a Xiaomi account to register the device. Click on the Mi Lohen icon and tap on Agree. Now you'll see a pop-up to sign in with your Xiaomi account. Tap on Agree and link to go further. You are now logged in. It's time to connect your phone to the plant sensor. Make sure you enable Bluetooth on your device. If you go to the plant database, you'll see all the supported plants and info about it. Back on the app home screen, tap the plus icon in the top right corner to add a device. It will ask you for the searching for nearby devices permission. Allow it and tap the icon that looks like the plant sensor with the two pins. The app scans for devices. It already found mine, so that's a good start. When the plant sensor has been bind successfully, next, we will add the plant by tapping on the bottom Add Plant button. Type the name of your plant and select it. Tap on Complete to add it. You should now see your plant sensor in the Devices section of the app. If you tap on it, you'll see all the information that is monitored about your plant.
For the Home Assistant part, let's go to your Home Assistant setup to connect the plant sensor with it. You'll see that I got a notification that Home Assistant has discovered a new device. This is because of the Bluetooth is active on my setup. Let's click on it and add the device. If you don't have the Xiaomi BLE integration installed yet, you can do this with the link in the description below. Choose an area where the plant sensor will be located and click on Finish. You have now successfully added the plant sensor to Home Assistant. Now let's go back to the dashboard to add the plant data card. Click on Add Card and search for the plant sensor on the By Entity tab. Here you can select what data you want to display. I'll select everything. When the plant card has been added to the dashboard, you can click on Done to quit editing it. And voila, you now see the live data from the plant sensor on your Home Assistant dashboard. You can take this a step further by adding a team to the card or by using the data for automations, like getting a notification when the moisture level is low. Overall, the Xiaomi plant sensor gives you all the data you need and can be automated with Home Assistant. And for 20 euros, I recommend it. The only downsides are that the primary flower care app is in multiple languages at the same time and there is no way to set up notifications when the plant needs water in that app. What do you think of the plant sensor from Xiaomi? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.